We're looking at the footer here for this first entry, and there's a number of things primarily related to alignment and structure that we're going to address here. Now, the first order of business is to recreate the two column structure above the footer to give it some context, and largely, I'm just going to keep it the same. The first thing that I dislike is center aligning the logo in the footer. This should be left aligned in order to reinforce the left column that's been established by the title and paragraph above it. Next up is the navigation. Now I dislike placing the nav items vertically. I think it makes most sense to create a horizontal navigation and then, which you'll see shortly, add secondary links underneath each of the relevant nav items. This gives you the ability to then place links to less important pages that you couldn't find or place otherwise in the top navigation. Finally, I decided to place the social links underneath the contact section because after all, the social links do provide yet another form of contact. Oh, and yes, I am just screenshotting their raster based icons just for this demo, just because I did want to use the same exact icons. next entry is a contact form. Now there's a number of issues here that we're going to address right this second. So the very first thing I want to talk about is form width. Notice how long their form elements are. You want to avoid that. That's why I'm going to place this particular design into a two column layout with the form on the left and the secondary information on the right. Another huge issue is the lack of white space between the form elements. Squashing them up like that makes using the form difficult for people. So you want to ensure that you have a good amount of white space between your form elements. like the look of the black type on the blue button background so to ensure I have good contrast I'm going to use the white text on top of a darker blue background in a second. Also notice how they've encased their email address into a similar shape as their submit button. That is very confusing to users and also makes the design look way too blocky. <music>
This final entry suffers from complexity issues. There's just too much happening here that we can greatly simplify. So as a bonus, I will design two different layouts that could work for this design. The big problem here is using the photograph as a full background with the transparent content container on top. It makes for a layout that's just too cluttered. So in this initial layout, I'm going to create two columns with the photograph in the right column. Their very large button with a lot of type in it doesn't make sense. Users might not know it's an actual clickable button. So I'm simplifying the text inside of it. For this second version of the layout, you'll see me hop inside of Photoshop to do some editing of a photo and create another variation of the layout that would work just fine. Now that's the end of my commentary for this video, so if you enjoy these videos, let me know in the comments section and I'll keep producing them. Alright everybody, I'll see you all later.